Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Dragon Age Origins playthrough. Now then, um, last time we managed to defeat the Sloth Demon and managed to get back to the Circle of Magi. Um... We ended here, as I am not sure what we're about to witness, but Colin is right there. Um, we still have... Uh, we, I'm guessing, still have some way to go uh, in this uh, particular part of the dungeon. And yes, I am calling the Circle of Magi a dungeon right now. Okay, saving the game, that's never this good. This trick again? <laughs> I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Uh, and it seems he is a prisoner. What? 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 Work? What's going on? Who are you? <laughs> like, just are you all right? The boy is exhausted, and this cage—I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah, I, I will not break. I'd rather die. Where do you other survivors? You're not going to die, not if I can help it. Don't be foolish or not. Some kind of illusion. Snap out of it. I have no time for these games. Calm down. You're safe now. Uh. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. We are. Um, just tell me where the uh, surviving mages are. I'm real and I'm here to help you. I am no trick of mine. You're pretty dense, aren't you? What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them. You don't know what they've become. We can't just kill them all, and you do? I don't understand. What are you afraid of? They've been surrounded I'm not by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. I'm not sure why, but whenever I click on something, the entire screen flickers. I'm very sorry if you guys are seeing that. I'm hoping not, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what is up right now. The entire PC is reset. Um, nothing is running in the background except for Steam and um, OBS, so I'm not sure. Uh, I want to save everyone who can possibly be saved. I will not kill an innocent. What do you propose we do? Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. Red us spare Maleficarum. Then risk harming an innocent. I hate to admit it, but you're probably right. I cannot decide on that before seeing what's going on. Yeah, I think I think that's the normal path. <laughs> that is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric. Uh, it isn't as bad as you make it out to be. I do not want the blood of innocence on my hands. You're right. It's not worth the risk. I do not fear Maleficarum. They should fear me. <laughs> that is very cronish. I like it. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? What do you mean, us? You're a Templar. You're supposed to be... <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be equipped to be able to defeat Magi? Stay safe. It will be over soon. We don't know that they are all blood mages. Rest easy. I will get rid of these pesky mages. No, just stay safe. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Can I still talk to him? What is that new screenshot? What? I didn't click anything to make a screenshot, though. <laughs> I fear the consequences of all this. 
I don't know. Left click is just making the game flicker for some reason. Just a moment. Okay, so it seems that a game resets, so um, shutting the game off <laughs> and on again <laughs> has helped. All right, harrowing chamber. Here, here, here we go. What awaits us? Oh, God. Do you accept the gift that I offer? He nodded, didn't he? Is he gonna turn into an abomination? We just walk saunter ah, <laughs> to them. <laughs> look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? Revels. I'm sorry, what? I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. <laughs> I take it you're old, Red. Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. Wow, okay. You'll soon follow your servants. What exactly are you doing here? I'm sorry, you upset I, I, I killed your lackeys. <laughs> we need to fixate on who killed whom. That doesn't help our relationship. Relationship. There's no relationship to speak of. You're an abomination. Those blood mages and abominations got what they deserved. What are you trying to accomplish by torturing these people? A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The Chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. Stubborn? Of course they are. You're trying to destroy... I'm going to destroy anything here, including you. I'm glad so many of them stood up to you. Say what you like, I'm still going to kill you. And what good did that do? I still won. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. <laughs> He'll serve me eventually, as will you. No, I won't. I'd rather die. I have a feeling if I say that, he's just going to say, well then, <laughs> let me uh, make that a reality. <laughs> let me make that wish come true. What's that supposed to mean? Are you proposing a partnership of some sort? No, I think it is you who should serve me. <laughs> <laughs> I serve no one. No, I have plans for you. Great plans. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power. 
and a new life. It's going too far. You die now. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what <laughs> I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Uh, litany of the Vajrala. Okay, are we just supposed to fight the three abominations, or is there more that's gonna come, I wonder? Okay, win. Back here. Morrigan, back here. Alistar, get ready to rush in. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna be using the litany, hopefully. Range personal. Okay. Ready. Oh god. He turned into something. <laughs> um Right, Morrigan. Can you I wonder make all of these go to sleep? <sighs> Resistance, resisted triple strike. Uh, Alistar. I, I still don't know why Wynn and Morrigan are so close. Get away. Kron. Uh, if you're focusing on that, do Pommel Strike. Alistar, if you're focusing on that, do Shield Pommel. It's not quite dead yet. Okay, Morrigan. Um, let's see. Freeze that one. Or free... Mm, what are the chances he can actually be frozen? Let's see. Um, do Arcane Bolt on Hooray! that abomination. The freeze didn't work. All right, I didn't think it would, honestly. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. This does also hit friendlies, so let's see if we can't do that. Uh, that abomination is almost dead. Kron is getting a little bit low. God, Aldrin, I don't know. How, is this, does this just do nothing? Yes. Stun, stun, stun. Oh, so that's what it does. Okay. It basically caused all of the abominations to be stunned. Win immediately heal Kron. Alistar, uh, do a shield bash. Morrigan, just start attacking him with everything you've got, and I mean everything. Win. Um, Arcane Bolt, that. Do it. Okay. Uh, Morrigan, let's have you heal Kron as well. Let's finish. <laughs> Use it now. All right. He didn't use it. Did he? Oh, I did. Okay, and I—I I guess I prevented him from changing another mage into uh, an abomination. I'm guessing that's what happened. Okay. Um. Let's go. Do freeze. Do. Uh, arcane bolt. Do. What can you actually do further here? Uh, precise striking, the warrior tr uh, tries to make each attack count as sacrificing attack speed for a bonus to attack as well as increased chance to score critical hits for as long as this mode is active. I mean, he is currently in Threaten. Uh, honestly, let's go pro with precise striking. Let's go with that. Um, Kron, you do a Palma Strike, please. <laughs> That was no 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 no. Leave the backline alone. I am here. Awa. Okay, you two. Get on him again immediately. Uh, you heal Kron. You heal Morrigan. All right. Wait, is he just coming towards? Wait. Um. Taunt. They won't know what hit them. 
There's st he's still just going for okay. Is it because? But he is on threatened though. Uh. Aldrich trying so something. Thank you. Stop him. Okay, he's been stopped. As you will. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a bit strange if he just keeps trying to go for our backline like there, like that. Uh, Kron, do that. Uh, you, I don't know, do lightning. I am ready. No skill, only desperate. Wait, what is he? <laughs> Heal Morrigan now. Drain life, that's good. Again, he's going straight for them, that's... Dude. Oh, you're not in stance. Uh, get into threatening stance as well. Just both of you attack it. Uh, run, 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 run. I shall do so. I shall take. I don't know what I this see. massive attack is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is so weird. Here, Morrigan, uh, do drain life again. He's doing firebolt. Oh boy. Okay, our boy is burning. You, I don't know, try doing a shield bash. Kron, try doing a pommel strike. Let's see if we can at all... Uh, nope, can't stun him. Okay. You heal Kron. You, uh, do another lightning. He's doing... He's doing it again. I know, I know. Litany, let's go. Something to the mages. Okay. You're in a little over your head. <laughs> You're in a little over your head. Indeed. Indeed. You tell him, Kron. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, she's full health now, so the drain life isn't gonna do much. Uh, hostile targets are trapped in a uh, waking nightmare unless they pass a mental resistance check. They are randomly stunned, they eat, uh, attack other enemies, or become the caster's ally for the duration of the effect. Enemies that are already asleep cannot resist. Yeah, but he can't. Can he be put asleep? I mean, even if he was, I guess we're still attacking him, so th that didn't do much. Uh, Arcane Bolt, let's go. Okay, uh, you, do another lightning. Let's go. Uh, win. Uh, heal. It was on cooldown. Heal Alistar. Okay, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Heal Kron. Let's go. You. Do so arcane. Okay, uh, boys. I don't know. Like, let's let's try something, shall we? Uh, do a shield bash. Mighty blow. Go go go. Ooh boy. Okay. Uh, Morrigan, heal. You heal. Also him. Uh, litany, litany. Now, 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 now. Do it. Okay, good, 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 good. We were in time. Uh, continue attacking. Uh, Morrigan, you don't have heal up yet. Do another lightning. Uh, you you don't have heal up yet either. Uh, oh, he actually healed himself. That's fine. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just keep attacking it. There we go. Bada beam, bada boom. We won. Not sure what you just did. Did you? Oh, rejuvenate. I see. Okay. Um. Novice flame rune. Lesser healing poultice. That's useful. Uh, first enchanter Irwing. Is he the only one we can talk to? Wait, are the did the rest just die? Cinderfell gauntlets inscribed. Um, armor 133, 
I'm pretty sure that weight superior Drake skin gloves are just better in every way. Except for the fire resistance. Fatigue is slightly lower, but that's not that's that's not that much. Oh wait, but this is a restriction for mages. Huh. I don't know if I can actually... No, I can't I, I can't even take them. I would have to get rid of something. Uh, and I don't know if I want to get rid of anything. <laughs> this uncut... Okay. Let me see. Um, saw sword. It's not very good. I would still ca catch a pretty penny, though. Um, letter helm, I, I guess we can just get rid of that and take that instead. There, all right. Let's talk with Uldred. Omega, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. Fair but enough. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Win? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Uh, I would like to look around before we leave. You know what? Sure. All right. But please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Also, you said the two of us. There's four of us, good sir. Um, let me see. I'm just really quickly looking around the room. It doesn't look like there's anything clickable anywhere else. I mean, we already collected... We already collected from the um, enemy... Body, are you so. ready to leave yet? Yes, yes, we are. We should tell the Templars about what went on here. Uh, yeah. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the circle be housed in a tower. <laughs> Irving? Maker's breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Correct. Well, what does the Knight Commander think, then? If you spare even one blood mage, we may regret it later, I believe. Order has been restored to the circle. Ah, oh, man. I hate this. <laughs> I actually dislike this. We fought this entire time to try and save all of these people, right? And technically Irving, like, being the high mage and whatnot, should, should definitely have the fortitude uh, to, uh, you know resist and the influence that Aldred had over him hopefully died with uh Aldred, right uh but he was slowly starting to turn and Aldred kept saying how he's going to serve eventually now i'm just not sure if that influence is gone or if uh Irving is literally like now a blood mage that might actually do some stupid stuff later on um, I can say that the order has been restored. I don't know if it has. There's still, like, yes, we've more or less cleaned up the entire circle of enemies, including, like, the Sloth Demon and uh, Odred himself, as, as well as all of the Abominations. Um, but how do we know that there aren't still some demons just lurking about somewhere that we didn't see? Um... <laughs> On the other hand, we we can also just choose that, you know what? Just kill them all. And 
I feel like that would be so bad. Like, we need the Circle of Mages to supposedly help us with our main mission, right? Beating um, the Thal. Um, then Thal, sorry, I forgot. It's been a while. <laughs> well, what does the Knight Commander think? Or, I, you know what, I'm just going to say order has been restored. We will rebuild. The circle will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy, and be strengthened by it. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the circle and the Templars. Nice. And what about the Darkspawn? I require aid. It had to be done. I've resolved your duty here, as you said. You owe me. I promised you aid. But with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. I thought the Templars were in charge. The Templars guard and advise. But the first enchanter has the last word in what happens in the circle. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. I'm sure he meant that, like, not in a way that <laughs> is gonna kill us or kill them all again. Um, but, you know... Mage versus Templar, they don't get along. Um, Here we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The blind drove me here to seek aid. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. So you have your word, but there are so few mages left. What about the tower? Don't you have to stay here? We will do what we can for now. But if the Blight spreads, the tower itself will be lost. Stopping the Blight is more important. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. We did keep wanting to get our hands on an actual healer. Um, so not just Morrigan. Of course, Morrigan's also our healer, but she is also like our damage dealer mage. So we definitely want Wynn on our side. Uh, I would be honored to have you join me, Wynn. I think you're needed. No, I don't need you tagging. No, you can come with me if you really want to. <laughs> You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then <laughs> I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Um... I understand, so we meet again. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. Okay, good. New ability, inspired willpower. What? Win approves. Skill acquired. We acquired a skill? Oh. Okay, this is Win's plot. Uh, major willpower. Inspired. No, 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 passive. Inspired by your leadership, this party member has gained a major bonus to willpower. That is cool. 
Uh, right, we need them to like us. That's how they gain this stuff. So, oh, <laughs> Alistair is not the biggest of fans, but hey. Um, quest completed. The circle has been saved thanks to you. While there is much rebuilding to be done, First Enchanter Irving has promised you the circle's aid in the coming battle. Use the Litany of Adrala to save the circle. That we did. Uh, you took the Litany of Adrala from Nia's body. The Litany will make it much... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did that. Um... Lothering and the Imperial Highway. You have traveled past Lothering and are now on the Imperial Highway, which runs through all of Ferelden. The highway will take you to the various places you need to go. Redcliffe, the uh, Brazilian Forest, the Circle of Magi's Tower, and the Dwarven City, city of Orzammar. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, there's so much over here. We did this. Let me not complete current quests. Flemeth's Grimoire. Okay, so I know what this does. <laughs> I know what this does. Let's not do that just yet. Um, the Blight. The Arl of Redcliffe. Revive Arl Eamon. Uh, we did that. Paragon of her kind. Gain Orzmar's aid in battling the Blight. Okay. Nature of the Beast. Gain the cooperation of the Dalish clans. The wandering Dalish elves, if brought together, are a force to be reckoned with. While they remain suspicious of outsiders, they may still honor the old Grey Warden treaties. Go to the Dalish Elves and seek their help to fight the Blight. Um, you need to travel deep underground to the fabled Dwarven city of Orzammar to earn the trust of her king and Dwarven troops for your army. Uh, find five scrolls of Bannistor and return them to the Mages Collective. We couldn't do that yet. Find and activate four mystical sites of power located in the Brazilian forest. The deep roads and the circle tower. Did we do this in the circle tower here? Uh, I'm not sure. So Denerim is somewhere we have to go. Travel to the Brazilian forest and slay the Cabal of Maleficarum. Maleficarum. Uh, I mean, we need to go to the Brazilian forest anyway, right? I think that's where we find the elves. Uh, so the details of his disappearance are too vague to provide any specific leads, but you should keep an eye out for him during your travels in Denerim. So we could go back to Denerim, but I think we go uh, and do the nature of the beast. Okay. Uh, can I still talk to anybody? I wish I could have gone with them to fight. What they said about Grey Wardens is true. You proved that. Nice. Quartermaster. You really killed all those abominations? Yes. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that. Yes. You? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, he actually has quite a bit. No, that's mine. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I'll take like all the health poultices you have. What do you mean inventory full? I have, look. Oh God, they don't stack. Are you kidding me? They don't actually stack. Wait, can I sell you stuff? Um. Compare with, let's say, Morrigan. She definitely has a better one. What about Wynn? Definitely has a better one. Okay, so I can sell both of these. There. Uh, magic Staff. Pretty sure I can sell that. Uh, saw Sword. Eh. Let's check Kron. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's worse in every way. Let's see. Alistar. Also worse. Uh... Sten. Messy kills. Sh nah, shells. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm looking at her.
I mean, technically, I can also sell this stuff to the um, to the two dwarves in our camp. Let me just check. Can I? Uh, ooh, this would this actually be good for me? Uh, no, 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 no. I already checked that. But for Alistar, possibly. Sorry, it's restricted to mage. The heck am I talking about? Uh, studded leather gloves. Yeah, definitely better than that. Or win. No, because the fire damage that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be Morgan, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just really quickly sort this out. Morgan. <laughs> like the headpiece is still so funny to me. Um, there. Don't think you need to get that. Uh, armor spell power, health regeneration, combat. I think it's still better, so I will be selling that eventually. Sword. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of the Gorum Sword, honestly. But the Saw Sword, I think I can sell. Uh, Viridium Helm. Templar Helm. What about mine? There's mental resistance to be had there. I think I do need the resistance. Alistair, have this. Okay. Yeah, what he has is definitely, definitely much, much better. Uh, what about the Templar armor, though? Plus three willpower... 20% spell resistance, 5 mental resistance. God, but the fatigue would go up so much. No, I think you still keep that. Uh, okay. You really killed all those above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Let's trade and we get rid of the sword. We get rid of the Viridium Helm. We get rid of this. Um, not sure about our other companions. I might be able to give them some of this. I think we can get rid of Morgan's robe. She's not going to wear this anymore. The collar and whatnot. Too bad we still don't have a dog. And I'm mm, still not sure if we can actually gain one again. Uh... Form of still waters, willpower. So you do already have willpower. What about you? She has the amulet that gives her fire resistance, cold resistance, and one arm. You know what? Let's sell this too. And there's a bunch of other stuff that we will eventually be able to use. Uh, all of these gifts. All of these gifts. I think the Chantry Amulet can go to win. I will recheck. Uh, I do have notes somewhere where uh, who all of this stuff can go to. Uh, I will have a look at that. But at any rate, we got rid of a few items. And let's just leave here. Okay, so we're done with the uh, circle. Bands, lore, and lands. Uh, Lake Kalanhad, Redcliffe Village, Ruined Temple Village, uh, where is the Brazilian outskirts? There it is. We don't want to go to Flemeth's Hut yet. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, yeah, let's head to the Brazilian Forest.
Are we going to bump into anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Will not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. And I am sorry you have a father like that. <laughs> He didn't say no, though, so she knows. <laughs> Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. Actually, you've been looking for the Dalish. I don't take on any threats. This is how you greet travelers. I had no idea. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? I'm a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. I will tell you that to your leader and no one else. I was hoping to take advantage of your hospitality. <laughs> I'm interested in buying the da fine Dalish wares. No wonder the Dalish have such a poor reputation. <laughs> a Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Many people go about pretending to be gro Grey Wardens, do they? No, that's true. <laughs> Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. They are? Hmm. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan, its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Name's Kron, a pleasure to meet you. The Keeper, does that mean you're in charge here? You don't need to know who I am. <laughs> just, I'm just imagining, like, my name is Kron, a pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Okay. Oh, God. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Is there no way to help your men? There are actual werewolves in the forest? <laughs> Why did these beasts attack you? Surely you must have some warriors to spare. They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. 
What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself, and that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. <laughs> I am good at not trivial tasks. <laughs> but you're going to ask me to get it anyhow, right? <laughs> Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I'll find this wither thing for you. Have you considered seeking outside help? If I help you, what will you give me? You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. Um. From whom? The children of the stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Okay. We would assist with the blight, of course. And you would have our gratitude. I would prefer a more substantial... No, that's fine. Your people could improve their attitude towards me. <laughs> Good, let's hope you don't forget it. <laughs> a reward, is it? Oh, shit. Very well. We have very little of the coin your people use, but we do craft items they find valuable. Return with the heart, and I will give you something extra that I'm sure you will have no trouble selling. Good enough? I did my... Uh, <laughs> my finger slipped, and I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. But fair enough, sir. Fair enough. Um, I I guess we it didn't require any persuasion, and we did get something extra. <laughs> I guess. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder. You see, where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help. Then I wish you luck. I have some questions. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Sayrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Um. Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Okay. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang. But now any werewolf may infect someone with it. Uh. You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit. And most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather... personal. <laughs> I hope that's not something that can actually happen to my guys. It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. <laughs> Fair enough. That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. No. The ones from this forest, however, do. Go on, then. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Creator's speed. 
Witherfang. Witherfang is, according to the Keeper Zathrian, a wolf. He is no ordinary wolf, however. He is a wolf possessed by a powerful spirit and the source of the werewolf, co werewolf curse that plagues the Brazilian forest. While Witherfang is hundreds of years old and very powerful in his own right, the only way to end his curse is to cut out his heart and bring it to Zathrian. Okay. Uh, quest that slay Witherfang and bring his heart to Zathrian. Zathrian told you that the curse has been befallen the elves that has befallen the elves originated in the great wolf Witherfang. If the beast is slain, Zathrian may be able to use its heart to break the curse. Okay. Uh, Lanaya Zathrian Kamen. She seems to like she might have a quest for us. There's another quest possible from Athras over there. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we will be able to do over here. Uh, I'm guessing that is their tradesman. There's a wooden crate. Can I look into it? Can I? Can I? I can. Can I also steal this? <laughs> uh, they didn't say anything. All right. I might want to bring Liliana over here, honestly. There's a lot of people around. A lot of people that could potentially be pickpocketed. Um, <laughs> I'll give that a thought. And all right, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, we managed to save the uh, Circle of Magi and gain their assistance in the fight versus the Blight. Uh, now we are here with the Dalish to try and do the same. Let's see how successful we are. And anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time. And until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.